watching Flippa TV. I'm Ali Daly and I'm here in Dolan's Warehouse to talk to the guys from Bleeding Deadly Magic. Hi guys, how are you? Hey, so how are we you? have Steve Spade and Jonathan Baines. So tell me about Bleeding Deadly Magic. What's it about? Uh, it's a show we started about two years ago. Just kind of, you needed a bit of promo. I was looking for something yep. interesting to do. And um, we used to just hit Trinity Rooms and all the nightclubs and stuff. Just uh, filming tricks and doing a bit of a, kind of a street magic show. And then it kind of snowballed from there and we started getting more and more into it and we started trying to have it out every month and we were trying to get guests and exactly. the whole man your, your words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, I just needed to keep kind of plugging away with what I was doing and I really just wanted to get kind of viral and get on YouTube and stuff like that. Do you not find it hard talking to people in nightclubs, especially when they're out? Oh, it's not talking, it's shouting. It's shouting, just shouting yeah. straight at them, yeah. Pick up! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it, it works. It, when it does, I mean, a lot of stuff that I do is quite visual, so you don't even have to see it, hear it to, to see it. Somewhere. But the original episodes actually had no um, dialogue. It was, all, so, yeah. it was all backing track, and you were able to just see it all. Like I'm doing stuff on fire and stuff, so you'd see it regardless. Oh great, how'd you get started with fire actually? Well it was just it was just part of some tricks Very good. and into fire just to make them visual. Cool. So if oh, you fire, were... cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Novelty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you were to sum up bleeding deadly magic in three words, is there any way you could do that? Eye catching. <laughs> Eye catching. That's two. Uh, well it's gonna be four, but the best thing on YouTube? Oh, way to plug yourself.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, no, no, just, just they, we changed the whole name around to Bleeding Deadly Magic because John's company is Bleeding Deadly Ink and we just wanted to tie in. They didn't want to be like the Steve Spade show because that's a bit hard Steve Spade, the great. Yeah, 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 the great. <laughs> so it was fun to um, watch the Spade name. It was, it was yeah, it was cool, watch the Spade first. It, it's had a lot of, it's had more names than Puff Daddy, he said. It's the way to do it, keep things sure interesting yeah, though. Yeah. Uh, tell me about Bleeding Deadly Ink actually. What do you do yourself, Jonathan? Um, I run a production studio and photography and stuff, so uh, it's, a, it's a bit of everything. I do a bit of music videos and filming for other YouTube channels and stuff like that. I love Limerick and I've done a bit of stuff with you guys over the Yeah, exactly. Um, hopefully, start doing, I'm hopefully, shooting a short film over the summer. So oh, excellent. Can you tell us a bit about that actually? Uh, it's a little under wraps in the minute. It's a horror movie kind of thing. Oh, but, uh, really? It's under wraps at the moment, so I have to keep going. Location, keep going. nothing? Uh, nothing. Okay, no, okay. No. <laughs> 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 Yeah. What about yourself? How do you get started in you're in magic? Um, just kind of did it since I was a kid and always got like magic sets. It was easy Christmas and birthday present. Just get Steve a magic set up here. Do you um, remember so actually was, growing um, up when we were younger at our age? They brought out this magazine. It was a monkey magazine. It was the magician's magazine. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Did you subscribe to that? I, I did, and there was a magic scene. There was another one, and Paul Dennis had one called Abracadabra and Odyssey. Oh yeah. But yeah, Paul Dennis. Let's go back to him again. But um. Yeah, like starting off, people are like, oh, that's like Paul Daniels, and I'm like, Jesus, it's not really, is it? So uh, you try trying to push them away, away from that generic kind of magician when you think of hats and rabbits and stuff. Yeah. So what kind of stuff do you like doing then? What, what do you like working with cards or? Yeah, I, I like the way Blaine kind of brought it back out onto the streets and all that kind of stuff and made it really kind of modern and, and more edgy and stuff, mm. using simple props to create magic. But. Yeah. And who's been the most famous person you've had to do magic trick on? Um, I suppose there was the Rihanna thing in in right and in Dublin. That was cool. Did you get to meet her? Uh, very very briefly. There was a lot, a lot of security around. Yeah. So it was, and it was another one of those. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, 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 that that was awesome. And Kevin Spacey for the Jameson Film Festival. Brilliant. Very, 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 what did yeah. you do for him? I stole his watch. But I give it back because I'm a nice guy. Oh, you're, you're um, nice like Rolex, that. It was Rolex and it was really, really nice. But um, yeah, no, I give it back. You could have swapped it for something else, couldn't you? Um, Do you know one of those really swatch watch watches? Comeback. There you one go. Of those edible watches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know where I can need that. Yeah. But um, no, no, that, that was really cool and it was, that was an honour and a half. So yeah. Have you ever had any really major bad experiences by like somebody catching you out or? No, never. There was no interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, of course I have, yeah. Starting off, I mean, obviously, you know, you have to slowly... It's all confidence, really, with magic and stuff, and it's how to approach people, and mm. there's way more just to the trick, you know? Um, but, yeah, definitely, there's been a few fairy nights right, where you walk off stage and you're like, oh, Jesus, I just want to go back and work in hotels or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so, if you're really magical, right? Okay. What's my next question? Oh. <laughs> Why did you ever make a poster saying, Steve Spade the Great? <laughs> No. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My next question yeah. was, can you read minds? Obviously not. Okay. So, uh, let me see you on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So guys, um, highlight. Highlight two. Two, what you've been doing so far? Um, highlight what we're doing so far is just constantly what we're doing. I mean, it's, it's great to film with more and more Irish kind of celebrities as well, and just general people on the street. And it's, you get different reactions. We could be the same trick, but you get different reactions from people. I like the way you got tied in with the magazine now and stuff as well. Because it's kind of like we have yeah. a, a, a platform we're going to work off of. You're working with Limelight magazine, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mm. So it's, it's like there's a platform now. It's not just two weirdos going around doing the magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was going to be David Blaine for a while. It was like, yeah, yeah. you want to see something? <laughs> Yeah. Can I be your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it was a real Facebook page. Uh, no, yeah. it, it, it was a bit creepy for a while. Um, it, it just, just in that, because people don't understand, you know, people don't get it. And, you know, they don't know really what a magician is, and you don't know what to expect when I come up and say, I'm a magician, which I don't anymore. Especially so because reaction is, no! Yeah. I don't want to be part of this. No, no, no. Yeah. You're thinking, blah, blah, and, oh yeah, the weirdest things, like you're a witch and so on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, if you could perform any trick at all, what would it be? Read your mind for that question. Ah, yeah, too late. Um, snap. <laughs> any trick? I don't know, really. Walk on water, I suppose. Oh. That could be cool. Yeah, I can do beside. Very be good. <laughs> future plans? Uh, future plans, definitely get the show on the road more. Um, do a national tour. There's loads of talks for different stuff. So soon, I hope. Yeah, get on the road. Yeah, get on the road. Definitely more the festival for the summer as well, electric and so on as well. Yeah, we're excellent. in talks and stuff, so we'll see. Do you want to do some magic? Yeah, I'll try a quick trick. Excellent. I'll do my turn. <laughs> okay, that's going to be a fence. Okay. It's brand new deck cards. So Keep your eyes on the cards, Olivia. Yeah. The, there's like promotional cards, but the new deck, so I'll show them away. So we'll just, uh, you will use any card, just the top one. Just uh, write your name on mm -hmm. This one here? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter now. You've already seen it. Yeah, yeah, but that's your name, okay? Yeah. Happy with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, hang on to that. And we'll just do this in this folder. Okay. Say ah. Ah. Uh. Right. Awesome. Cool. I'll take the next card. The Tree of Hearts. My name. Sorry. My name. Hang on with that. What? Okay, watch my one. I'll take my one. I'll leave the deck up here. Mm -hmm. I'll fold my one. And everyone knows sleight of hand, right? Yeah. This is sleight of mouth. <laughs> and look where we're at. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. There you go. What? Soggy souvenirs for everyone. Oh, thank you very much. Very you might be able to mind read, but you can teleport. <laughs> 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 Guys, best of luck with everything you do. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We got a